Dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night, our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life. The judge called upon her son and daughters scattered throughout the world together to watch and pray if we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal solemnity in this way, listening to his word and praising his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and live in God. Let us pray. God, who through your Son bestow upon faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray, and grant that by this Paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with mind may pure we may attain festivities of unending splendor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The beginning and the end, all time belong to him.
here, take mine. Exalt, lend them exalt, the host of heaven. Exalt, let angel minister of God exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud, almighty King Trump. Standing in this awesome glory of 
this holy light. Involved with me, I ask you the mercy of God Almighty, that he who has been pleased to number me, the unworthy among the Levites, may pour into me his light and shadow, that I may sing this candle perfect praises. The Lord be with you. Jesus Christ, our Lord, his Son, his only begotten, who for our sake pay Adam's death to eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, wipe clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. Then all the feasts are passed over, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoint the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you let our forbearance. Israel children from slavery in Egypt and make them pry, then pass dry shot through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world set Christian believer upon from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. When Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld, our birth would have been no gain as we not been redeemed. Oh, wonderful, your humble care for us, oh, love. O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave, you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault, that earned so great, so glorious a redeemer. O oh, truly blessed night, worthy alone to know the time and hour when Christ rose from the underworld. 
This is the night of which it is written. The night shall be as bright as day. Dazzling is the night for me and full of gladness. The sanctified power of this night this bell wickedness was false away, restored innocent to the fallen, and joy of mourner drives out hatred, for step concord, and bring down the mighty on this. Your mighty grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of me and of your servant's hands, an evening sacrifice of praise. This gift from your most holy church. But now, we know the praise of this pillar with glowing fire ignite for God on earth. A fire into many flame undivided, yet never dim by sharing of its light. For it is fed by melting waters, drawn out by mud to build a toward so precious of this night. O oh, true, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth and divine to the human. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray you that this candle, hallowed through the honor of your name, may persevere un undim to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance, and let it mingle with the light of heaven. May this flame be found still burn, burning by the morning star, the morning star who never sends Christ your Son, who come back from the dead domain, had shed his peaceful light on humanity, and live in rain forever and ever. vigil. Let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in time past saved people, and in this, the last day, has sent us his Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete his past work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. Hermanos y hermanos, esto solemnidad de vigil de Pascual está aquí por nosotros, escuchando la palabra de Dios con su corazón, meditando con su amor por nosotros. Por eso, hermanos, siéntate por escuchando la palabra de Dios. Let us be sit and listen to the word of God.
Lectura del Libro del Génesis En el principio creó Dios el cielo y la tierra. La tierra era soledad y caos, y las tinieblas cubrían la faz del abismo. El Espíritu de Dios se movía sobre la superficie de las aguas. Dijo Dios, que exista la luz, y la luz existió. Vio Dios que la luz era buena y separó la luz de las tinieblas. Llamó a la luz día y a las tinieblas noche. Fue la tarde y la mañana del primer día. Dijo Dios, que haya una bóveda entre las aguas, que separe unas aguas de otras. E hizo Dios una bóveda. Y separó con ella las aguas de arriba de las aguas de abajo. Y así fue. Llamó Dios a la bóveda cielo. Fue la tarde y la mañana del segundo día. Dijo Dios que se junten las aguas de debajo del cielo en un solo lugar y que aparezca el suelo seco. Y así fue. Llamó Dios tierra al suelo seco y a mar a la masa de las aguas. Y vio Dios que era bueno. Dijo Dios, verde la tierra con plantas, que den semillas y árboles, que den fruto y semilla según su especie sobre la tierra. Y así fue. Brotó de la tierra hierba verde, que producía semilla según su especie, y árboles que daban fruto y llevaban semillas según su especie, y vio Dios que era bueno. Fue la tarde y la mañana del tercer día. Dijo Dios, que haya lumbreras en la bóveda del cielo, que separen el día de la noche, señalen las estaciones, los días y los años, y luzcan en la bóveda del cielo para iluminar la tierra. Y así fue. Hizo Dios las dos grandes lumbreras, las lumbreras mayor para regir el día y la menor para seguir la noche. Y también hizo las estrellas. Dios puso las lumbreras en la bóveda del cielo para iluminar la tierra. Para regir el día y la noche, y separar la luz de las tinieblas, y vio Dios que era bueno. Fue la tarde y la mañana del cuarto día. Dijo Dios, agítense las aguas con un hervidero de seres vivientes, y revoloteen sobre la tierra las aves bajo la bóveda del cielo. Creó Dios los grandes animales marinos y los vivientes que en el agua se deslizan y las pueblan, según su especie. Vio Dios que era bueno y los bendijo diciendo, sean fecundos y multiplíquense, llenen las aguas del mar, que las aves se multipliquen en la tierra. Fue la tarde y la mañana del quinto día. Dijo Dios, produzcan la tierra vivientes según sus especies, animales domésticos, reptiles y fieras, según sus especies. Y así fue. Hizo Dios las fieras, los animales domésticos y los reptiles, cada uno según su especie. Y vio Dios que era bueno. Dijo Dios, hágase al hombre a nuestra imagen y semejanza, que domine a los peces del mar, a las aves del cielo, a los animales domésticos y a todo animal que se arrastra sobre la tierra. Y creó Dios al hombre a su imagen. A imagen suya lo creó, hombre y mujer los creó. Y los bendijo Dios y les dijo, sean fecundos y multiplíquense. Llenen la tierra y sometanla. Dominen 
a los peces del mar, a las aves del cielo y a todo ser viviente que se mueva sobre la tierra. Y dijo Dios, he aquí que les entrego todas las plantas de semilla que hay sobre la faz de la tierra y todos los árboles que producen fruto, semilla, para que les sirvan de alimento y a todas las fieras de la tierra, a todas las aves del cielo, a todos los reptiles de la tierra y a todos los seres que respiran, también les doy por alimento la verdad de planta. Y así fue. Vio Dios todo lo que había hecho y lo encontró muy bueno. Fue la tarde y la mañana del sexto día. Así quedaron concluidos el cielo y la tierra con todos sus ornamentos y terminada su obra. Descansó Dios el séptimo día de todo cuanto había hecho. Palabra de Dios. Te la damos, Señor.
Let us pray, O Remus. Almighty, ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world of creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac and two of his servants as well. And with the wood that he had cut for the Holocaust, set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to his servants, both of you stay here with the donkey, while the boy and I go on over yonder. We will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon, Abraham took the wood for the Holocaust and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulders, while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked on together, Isaac spoke to his father, Abraham. Father, Isaac said. Yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued, Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the Holocaust? Son, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the Holocaust. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh Yireh. Hence, people now say, on the mountain, the Lord will see. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray, O Remus. O God, supreme Father of the faithful, who increased the children of your promise by pouring out the grace of adoption throughout the whole world, and who through the Paschal mystery made your servant Abraham father of nations, at once you swore Grant, we pray, that your peoples may enter worthily into the grace to which you call them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lectura del Libro del Éxodo En aquellos días, dijo el Señor a Moisés, ¿Por qué sigues clamando a mí? Diles a los israelitas que se pongan en marcha, y tú alza tu bastón, extiende tu mano sobre el mar y divídelo, para que los israelitas entren en el mar sin mojarse. Yo voy a endurecer el corazón de los egipcios 
para que los persigan y me cubriré de gloria a expensas del faraón y de todo su ejército, de sus carros y jinetes. Cuando me haya cubierto de gloria a expensas del faraón, de sus carros y jinetes, los egipcios sabrán que yo soy el Señor. El ángel del Señor, que iba al frente de las huestes de Israel, se colocó tras ellas, y la columna de nubes que iba adelante también se desplazó y se puso a sus espaldas entre el campamento de los israelitas y el campamento de los egipcios. La nube era tinieblas para unos y claridad para otros, y así los ejércitos no trabajaron contacto durante toda la noche. Moisés extendió la mano sobre el mar, y el Señor hizo soplar durante toda la noche un fuerte viento del este, que secó el mar y dividió las aguas. Los israelitas entraron en el mar y no se mojaban, mientras las aguas formaban una muralla a su derecha y a su izquierda. Los egipcios se lanzaron en su persecución y toda la caballería del faraón, sus carros y jinetes, entraron tras ellos en el mar. Hacia el amanecer, el Señor miró desde la columna de fuego y humo al ejército de los egipcios y sembró entre ellos el pánico. Trabó las ruedas de sus carros, de suerte que no avanzaban sino pesadamente. Dijeron entonces los egipcios, huyamos de Israel porque el Señor lucha en su favor contra Egipto. Entonces el Señor le dijo a Moisés, Extiende tu mano sobre el mar para que vuelvan las aguas sobre los egipcios, sus carros y sus jinetes. Y extendió Moisés su mano sobre el mar y al amanecer las aguas volvieron a su sitio, de suerte que al huir los egipcios se encontraron con ellas y el Señor los derribó en medio del mar. Volvieron las aguas y cubrieron los carros a los jinetes y a todo el ejército del faraón, que se había metido en el agua para perseguir a Israel. Ni un solo se salvó. Pero los hijos de Israel caminaban por lo seco en medio del mar. Las aguas le hacían muralla a la derecha e izquierda. Aquel día salvó el Señor a Israel de las manos de Egipto, Israel vio a los egipcios muertos en la orilla del mar. Israel vio la mano fuerte del Señor sobre los egipcios y el pueblo temió al Señor y creyó en el Señor y en Moisés su siervo. Entonces Moisés y los hijos de Israel cantaron este cántico al Señor. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor.
us pray, O Remus. O God, who by the light of the New Testament have unlocked the meaning of wonders work in former times, so that the Red Sea prefigures the sacred font and the nation delivered from slavery foreshadowed the Christian people, grant we pray that all nations obtaining the privilege of Israel by merit of faith may be reborn by partaking of your spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The one who has become your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit. A wife married in youth, then cast off, says your God. For a brief moment I abandon you, but with great tenderness I will take you back. In an outburst of wrath, for a moment, I hid my face from you. But with, with enduring love I take pity on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah should never again deluge the earth. So I have sworn not to be angry with you, or to rebuke you. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. O afflicted one, storm-battered and unconsoled, I lay your pavements in carnelians and your foundations in sapphires. I will make your battlements of rubies your gates of carbuncles, and all your walls of precious stone. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and the great shall be the peace, and great shall be the peace of your children. In justice shall you be established, far from the fear of oppression, where destruction cannot come near you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Let us pray, O Remus. Almighty ever-living God, surpass for the honor of your name what you pled to the patriarch by reason of their faith, and through the sacred adoption increase the children of your promise, so that what the saints of old never doubted would come to pass. Your church may now see in great part fulfilled through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Lectura del libro del profeta Isaías. Esto dice el Señor. Todos ustedes, los que tienen sed, vengan por agua, y los que no tienen dinero, vengan, tomen trigo y coman, tomen vino y leche sin pagar. ¿Por qué gastar el dinero en lo que no es pan y el salario en lo que no alimenta? Escúchenme, atentos, y comerán bien. Saborearán platillos sustanciosos. Préstenme atención, vengan a mí, escúchenme y vivirán. Sellaré con ustedes una alianza perpetua. Cumpliré las promesas que hice a David. Como a él lo puse por testigo ante los pueblos, como príncipe y soberano de las naciones. Así tú reunirás a un pueblo desconocido y las naciones que no te conocían acudirán a ti por amor del Señor tu Dios, por el Santo de Israel que te ha honrado. Busquen al Señor mientras lo pueden encontrar, invóquenlo mientras está cerca, que el malvado abandone su camino y el criminal sus planes. Que regrese al Señor y Él tendrá piedad a nuestro Dios que es rico en perdón. Mis pensamientos no son los pensamientos de ustedes. Sus caminos no son mis caminos. Porque así como aventajan los cielos a la tierra, así aventajan mis caminos a los de ustedes y mis pensamientos a sus pensamientos. Como baja del cielo la lluvia y la nieve, y no vuelven allá, sino después de empapar la tierra, de fecundarla y hacerla germinar, a fin de que dé semilla para sembrar y pan para comer. Así será la palabra que sale de mi boca. No volverá a mí sin resultado, sino que hará mi voluntad y cumplirá su misión. Palabra de Dios. Te la damos, Señor. Señor. Thank you. 
Let us pray, O Remus. Almighty ever-living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveiled the mysteries of this present age, graciously increase the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Hear, O Israel, the commandments of life. Listen and know prudence. How is it, Israel, that you are in the land of your foes, grown old in a foreign land, defiled with the dead, accounted with those destined for the netherworld? You have forsaken the fountain of wisdom. Had you walked in the way of God, you would have dwelt in enduring peace. Learn where prudence is, where strength, where understanding, that you may know also where are length of days and life, where light of the eyes and peace. Who has found the place of wisdom? Who has entered into her treasures? The one who knows all things knows her. He has probed her by his knowledge, the one who established the earth for all time and filled it with four-footed beasts. He who dismisses the light and it departs, calls it, and it obeys him trembling, before whom the stars at their posts shine and rejoice. When he calls them, they answer, here we are, shining with joy for their maker. Such is our God. No other is to be compared to him. He has traced out the whole way of understanding and has given her to Jacob, his servant, to Israel, his beloved son. Since then, she has appeared on earth and moved among people. She is the book of the precepts of God, the law that endures forever. 
all who cling to her will live, but those will die who forsake her. Turn, O Jacob, and receive her. Walk by your light toward splendor. Give not your glory to another, your privileges to an alien race. Blessed are we, O Israel, for what pleases God is known to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us pray, O Remus. O God, who constantly increase your church by your call to the nations, graciously grant to those you was clean in the waters of baptism the assurance of your unfailing protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lectura del libro del profeta Ezequiel. En aquel tiempo me fue dirigida la palabra del Señor 
en estos términos. Hijo de hombre, cuando los de la casa de Israel habitaban en su tierra, la mancharon con su conducta y con sus obras. Como inmundicia fue su preceder ante mis ojos. Entonces descargué mi furor contra ellos por la sangre que habían derramado en el país y por haberlo profanado con sus idolatrías. Los dispersé entre las naciones y anduvieron errantes por todas las tierras. Los juzgué según su conducta, según sus acciones los sentencié. Y en las naciones a las que se fueron, desacreditaron mi santo nombre, haciendo que de ellos se dijera, este es el pueblo del Señor y ha tenido que salir de su tierra. Pero por mi santo nombre, que la casa de Israel profanó entre las naciones a donde llegó, me he compadecido, por eso Dile a la casa de Israel, esto dice el Señor. No lo hago por ustedes, casa de Israel. Yo mismo mostraré la santidad de mi nombre excelso que ustedes profanaron entre las naciones. Entonces, ellas reconocerán que yo soy el Señor cuando por medio de ustedes les haga ver mi santidad. Los sacaré a ustedes de entre las naciones, los reuniré de todos los países y los llevaré a su tierra. Los rociaré con agua pura y quedarán purificados. Los purificaré de todas sus inmundicias e idolatrías. Les daré un corazón nuevo y les infundiré un espíritu nuevo. Arrasaré de ustedes el corazón de piedra y les daré un corazón de carne. Les infundiré mi espíritu y los haré vivir según mis preceptos y guardar y cumplir mis mandamientos. Habitarán en la tierra que di a sus padres. Ustedes serán mi pueblo y yo seré su Dios. Palabra de Dios.
Let us pray, O Remus. O God, who by the pages of both testaments, instruct and prepare us to celebrate the Paschal mystery. Grant that we may comprehend your mercy so that the gifts we receive from you this night may confirm our hope for the gifts to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stirred up in your church a spirit of adoption so that renew in body and mind, we may render you undivided service through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so, with, so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as being dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Madeline, Mary the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that might go and anoint him. Very early when the sun had risen, on the first day of the week they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, 
do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, and he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. The gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel is very powerful as we try to explore this mystery. But tonight, I think I'm going to talk to you a little bit different about this crazy, lengthy liturgy, yes? Eso no te evangelio tiene mucho, muy rica de palabra de Dios, pero esto no te quiere practicar ustedes. Esto liturgia es muy, muy, uh, como se dice, es muy lento. It's muy difícil to understand, right? Escuchando mucha palabra de Dios, ¿qué significa? In this liturgy, they have a, we, we call it, there are four parts in this celebration. The first part is the liturgy of light. We light the candles and we bless the candle. This Paschal candle carries signify. It is a candle that every one of those who receive baptism, we carry that light, the light of Christ. And that light is just not for tonight. That light transform and carry throughout the mission of the church. Every time we baptize, every time we receive First Communion, it lighted at the funeral. And every time we call upon the light of Christ, we remind the significant. La primera vez que significa en la cuarta parte de esta salvación, la primera vez es la luz de Cristo. ¿Verdad? La luz de Cristo es muy significar, especialmente en nuestra vida. Hay mucho, es mucho pecados, sucio, pero Dios continúa a estar aquí por nosotros. Su luz es siempre eternidad. Cuando nosotros celebramos todos los años de la iglesia, especialmente en bautismal, ¿verdad? Eh, murió. Confirmación, la luz de Cristo continúa a estar con nosotros siempre. The second significant of this, we celebrate the word of God. We read very lengthy, you know, from Genesis through Exodus, Isaiah, Ezekiel. We even take a dab at the crazy guy called Baruch. It sounds like Klingon, yeah. But it's significant, it drawn us closer to the significance of word of God. God's word is not something far and distant, but continue to be here with us, begin in creation. When God pronounced the separating between water and land, light and darkness, earth and heaven. It is the same word that Jesus cried when he was incarnated. The same word that he urged every time he expound freedom of healing. And the same word that he called upon the forgiveness of all sinners. The ultimate word that Jesus professed to all of us, his redemption on the cross. It is as those of the word that the church carried for 2,000 years. In the same word, in a moment, many of you will receive the ignite power of the Spirit. The same word each and every one of us will receive, if not a piece of bread and a cup of wine, <coughs> but we receive the very substance, body and blood of Jesus Christ. Those are the word <coughs> that God need to create in us, in everything that we do. Hermanos, La segunda parte en esa salvación de palabra. Palabra no es simple, es, es palabra de ustedes, es mío. Es palabra de Dios, ¿verdad? La palabra es, es muy significa, ¿verdad? Es no es siempre, es siempre palabra como de nosotros escuchando cada día. 
Él usando su palabra creador el mundo, ¿verdad? Igualmente, esta palabra profesión el profeta. Igualmente, palabra está en su Hijo, Jesucristo. De última palabra, Él por nosotros es su redención. Cuando murió el crucifixión por nosotros. Por eso, hermano, un momento, muchos sus hijos reciben de palabra en el Espíritu Santo, ¿verdad? De palabra en el Eucaristía. Como el momento, muchos de nosotros reciben no el, el, el pan o vino, pero es su cuerpo y su sangre. Por eso, hermanos, su palabra continúa. Vivamos siempre con nosotros en la iglesia, en la mente y el corazón, siempre con nosotros. Three, the third part. <coughs> We celebrate the water, the water baptism. The water in gen regeneration, it was the same water that God destroyed, flooded. But the same water that regenerate, that the same water that flow from the side of Jesus Christ, that is the same water that every one of us are infused into this water that we may be regenerate into the newness of life. The water that infusion in death, but regenerate in the birth of a regenerated re resurrection. This is the water that the church continues to use to cleanse Cleanse our mind, cleanse our heart, cleanse our spirit. The cero parte en la celebración, hermanos, es el agua. ¿Verdad? Es el agua. Es el agua que Jesucristo, el Dios usando por limpia, creador en nuestra vida. Y igualmente el agua por todos nosotros recibe en el bautismo, por recibe nueva vida con Dios. ¿Verdad? Es muy significativo. The part four is very interesting. And we enter into the very substance of the body and blood of Jesus Christ. The food that sustained to the eternity. The food that regenerated only in Christ that was able to give into us. It is in him that we may partake the very substance of heaven, not by word, But, very, but the very DNA of God in Jesus Christ. Si, sí, hermanos, the cuarto parte en la celebración es su cuerpo, su sangre de Cristo, ¿verdad? Es no en cuando todo nosotros recibe su palabra, pero recibe su cuerpo, su sangre, su substancia de Dios. Su substancia de Dios es no estar aquí, pero en el cielo. It is in that substance, dear friends, we are infused to become sons and daughters of God. That's night. That's why this night is the glorious night. The night that we hear, no, not simply just hear the word of God, but the re night that we remember that regeneration of the goodness that God has for us. So as we go through the second, we prepare for the third. So let us complete that process. At this moment, I would generate with prayer, and we pray for the holy water to be the source and blessing of us. Continua la parte de cuarto. Bendice al agua por recibir el bautismo por nosotros. So let us pray. Dear friends, let us pray to Almighty God for our brothers and sisters who are asking for baptism. He, asks, he has called them and brought them to this moment. May he grant them light and strength to follow Christ with resolute hearts and to profess the faith of the church. May he give them the new life of the Holy Spirit whom we are about to call down on this water.
Father, you give us great through sacramental sign which tells us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness, the waters of the great flood. You make a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit, 
Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nation, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, give to this water the grace of your Son, so that in the sacrament of baptism, all those whom you have created in your likeness may be cleansed from sin and ride to a new birth of innocence by water and the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this fountain. May all who bury with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to the newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I would like to invite those who prepare for baptism to come forward. Please be seated, everybody. Before you enter the gift of baptism, I ask you, Profess your faith. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Excellent thing. <laughs> Do you reject Satan, the father of sin and prince of darkness? Muy bien. Uh -huh. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Muy bien. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, is now seated at the right hand of God the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of a body, and life everlasting? Excellent friend, this is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So who will be received the first baptism? The oldest. Let's go to the oldest. Okay. Brian? Brian, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Who's next? Caden, step forward, please. Caden, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Who's next? Javier. Javier. Harvey. <laughs> Javier, Harvey, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
Who's next? Me. And who is me? Who is me? Who? What's your name? Arian? Arian? I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Brian, I want you to move over there. Okay, but who's that stand there? May God of power and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ you free from sin and brought you to new life through water and the Holy Spirit. He now anoint you with the chrism of salvation so that unite with his people, you may remain forever a member of Christ who is priest, prophet, and king. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin and brought you to new life through water and the Holy Spirit. He now anoint you with the chrism of salvation so that unite with his people, you may remain forever a member of Christ who is priest, prophet, and king. The God of power and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ had freed you from sin and brought you to new life through water and the Holy Spirit. He now anoint you with the chrism of salvation so that unite with his people, you may remain forever a member of Christ who is priest, prophet, and king. Children, you have become a new creation, have clothed yourself in Christ. Receive this baptismal garment and bring it unstained to the judgment seat of the Lord Jesus Christ so that you may have everlasting life. Amen.
Children, you have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as a child of light and keep the flame of faith alive in your hearts. When the Lord come, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Who's that? That's request as you see. Okay, go back one completely with that. At this moment, I would like those prepared to receive First Communion to come forward, stand right there. And those prepared to receive Confirmation to come forward as well. I would like you guys to light the candle for them. I would like you to invite the community to stand as we renew our baptismal promise. On the day of their baptism, as they prepare for confirmation, they have received the light of Christ. This candle is for them to signify of their own baptism and renew their faith in Christ Jesus. Let's go, Bethel. Dear friend, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may rise with him to newness of life now that we have complete our Lenten observance. Let us renew the promises we made in baptism when we reject Satan and his work and promise to serve God faithfully in his holy church. So as you and all of you, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Amen. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Amen. Do you reject Satan, father of sin, prince of darkness? Amen. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Amen. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, is now seated at the right hand of God the Father? Amen. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of a body, and life everlasting? Amen. May the almighty, powerful Father of our Lord Jesus Christ had given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and forgive all our sins, may he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Jack, Nathaniel, Of your own free will, you have asked to be received into the full communion of the Catholic Church. You have made your decision after careful thought under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I now invite you to come forward with your sponsor and in the presence of this community to profess the Catholic faith. 
In this faith, you will be one with us for the first time at the Eucharistic table of the Lord Jesus, the sign of the church unity. So I ask you to profess your belief. You can take out your cheat sheet. My brothers, the Lord received you into the Catholic Church. His loving kindness has led you here so that in the unity of the Holy Spirit, you may have full communion with us in the faith that you have professed in the presence of his family. Congratulations, first step. <laughs> My dear candidate for confirmation, by your baptism, you have been reborn again in Christ and you have become members of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost and given them and their successors to baptize. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit which you are to receive will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses to his suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church and to build up the body of Christ in the faith and love. My dear friends, let us pray to God our Father that he will pour the Holy Spirit on this candidate for confirmation to strengthen them with his gift and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you free your sons and daughters from sin and give them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the Holy Spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mara Jung, be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. This is Joseph Michael. Joseph Michael, be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
is official name. Oh, this is Nate Broom? What is Saint's name? Hmm? Sebastian. Sebastian. See, you know I know him. Hey, really? shame on you. <laughs> Sebastian, be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jack Ignatius. Jack Ignatius. Be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mariana Maria de Guadalupe. Be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Brian, de que? Alberto, Alberto de, de grande o chiquito. Brian, Alberto, be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Those who receive confirmation, turn around, present to the community. We want to congratulate them, those that just received full spirit of the church. Please be seated and prepare for the liturgy of the Eucharist.
prayed, beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your lips for the praise and glory of his name. Father, and his holy church. Except we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offering that what has begun in the Paschal mystery may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sin of the world, by dying he had destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people and God in your praise, and even the heavenly powers within angelic homes, sing to air gather the anandium of your glory as they acclaim. At this moment, I invite Kate and Coberto to come forward. Can you stand right here? Coberto, stand right here. This moment very special for you as you prepare your first communion for the first time in your age. And this moment very sacred, right? This one we call the power of God to come to turn bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus, right? So we pray, ask you to pray with me, okay? Focus with me. O oh God, you are indeed holy, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never see to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift we are brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your beloved son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate this mystery for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascended into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis, St. John, with all the saints, on whose content in the session in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to infirm in faith and charity, your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the orders of Bishop of the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the praise of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at the passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. commanded from the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ give us safe for eternal life. Sorry. 
Let us pray. Put out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this Paschal sacrament, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A word of thanks and congratulation to all of you for receiving com confirmation, first communion, and receive baptism. También felicidad con familia, receive baptism, ¿verdad? And muy bueno futuro viviendo en Jesucristo, su amor, su familia. Congratulations to all of you, especially for the RCIA uh, team, and work very diligently for Lisette and uh, Francisco, uh, Catherine, the choir, and our deacon, work very diligently to make this celebration fruitful. So last year, basically, we couldn't celebrate. This year, we celebrate slowly, right? But the next time around, we throw a big party, right? Fiesta. <laughs> so the Lord be with you. With your spirit. Yes, May Almighty God bless you through today, Easter solemnity, and in his compassion, defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he who restore you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten son endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the day of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrating in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks.